Uh, welcome to the presentation of a Benamar Tesoro 482 um, based on the 170 horsepower Ford Transit. Just look down the uh, passenger side of the vehicle here you've got the, the toilet uh, cassette. As you come further forward your mains inlet socket, um, outside barbecue point and outside shower point. These are all standard fitments on these vehicles. Um, like most of the modern vehicles these days, we've got odd blue and diesel here. As you come around the front, I think the Ford cab looks really well. You've got day running lights. You've got cornering lights and front fog lights as well. As you come down this side, you've got your water tank. It's a good size of tank on the Benamars, a 120 litre tank. And again, gas bottles, very important. A lot of vans these days are very small gas bottle compartments. Benamar will take two large bottles. Um, fridge is this side here. You'll see when we get inside, it's got fridge vents standard on it as well. Winter vents, sorry, standard on it. Alloy wheels on the vehicle. Um, all important storage space. You've got a good size of garage in this vehicle. Uh, for getting your barbecues and chairs and tables and whatever into for outside use. You can access this uh, from inside as well. And again, you've got uh, heating in the garage and 12 volt and 240 volt in the garage if you want to put charging systems on here for bike batteries or, or whatever. Um, all the Benamars come very, very comprehensively equipped. So you've got everything right down to warning triangles, vis vests, um, fire extinguishers, we have silver screen standard for the outside of the windscreen at the front. You have underneath, you can see there, you've got rear steadies as well, which are unusual on motorhomes these days, but great if it's windy. So you can drop a steadies down. Come around the back, it's pre-done for a Fayama bike rack. And you have your reversing camera and everything standard on the vehicle as well. I'll just show you inside now. inside the vehicle. Very high spec Ford cab, so we've got everything from sat nav, Bluetooth, DAB radio, automatic headlights, uh, leather steering wheel, cruise control, all hand controls on the steering wheel as well. We've air con in there, passenger airbags, full Remus blinds right around the front as well. So when you want to close it off at night time. If you look up here, lovely big roof light here, which opens. Um, you have little reading lights here as well, which have got USB ports on them, so you can charge your phones from them. And this is the front lounge area. So that seat will swivel completely round as well. And then you've got your travel seat belts there as well. So travel seat belts for four people in the van. The entrance area here has got two pockets here. Little cupboard to pull out. Another one here pulls out as well. Door bin, fly screens and blinds on every window and every roof light. Uh, plenty of sockets in these vans for uh, TVs and whatever so we can put a TV in the front and a TV in the back of the vehicle as well. It's got Truma 6 kilowatt heating, combi heating, with the iNet system that will allow you to connect your phone to it so you can control the heating via Bluetooth when you're within the van or if you put a little data GSM card in it, you can control it away from the van as well, which is great if you're out for a walk and you want to put the heating on before you get back. I look into the bathroom, separate shower, no wet room in these vans, so separate shower, duckboard and all in it as well. Uh, clothes hanger on the roof there if you want to hang your wet uh, coats on it if you've been out for a walk. Again, roof light again with blades and fly screens. That for a toilet on them. Just nicely appointed, all the accessories that you expect of this type of van. So you go back into the back lounge. So this is a U-shaped lounge van. Again, say access underneath that there for storage right around there. And specifically in this van, the all important drop down electric bed. So we've got a electric bed here. I'll drop it down to nearly where it goes to, but I think that bed is um, about four foot six across. A good size of bed in a motorhome. 
Um, you can stop it at any height. It's got safety nets there. If you want to still sit down below and you want to put kids to bed at night, you can put it up higher. Um, and lock the safety nets in. There's a little ladder to let you get up in there. If it's just a couple away in the van, you can drop the cushions out here. And the bed will come right down to the cushion level here. Okay, so it's a great feature on it. Um, it just means you've got, you know, the usual fixed bed in the back of a van at a great height for getting in and out of. I just can pull that back up again. So leave all your quilts on it. You can set it at any height when it's up at the top. But the idea is to leave your bed linen and quilts on it. Um, and it literally is quick up and down. Okay. Um, as you look further forward, you have a wardrobe space here. Another space for a TV. And again, USB sockets, twin USB sockets there for charging your phones. 240 volt aerial sockets, pre done aerial and all on the vehicle as well. Nice little touches here, little B shaped Benamar coat hangers. You have a microwave, you have the largest fridge freezer you can get in the van as well, which is a fully automatic fridge freezer. Just hit the button, it will find a, the power source you need. Up here, you can see the True My Net system and your TV booster aerial. Um, speakers on the roof here, off the front radio. Um, you have a roof light there, and then up above the kitchen you've got a turbo fan light, so that'll push uh, air in and out of the van uh, when you want ventilation, a very high powered fan there. Again, uh, blinds on that as well. Come into the kitchen. The kitchen's got some nice touches which pull out larders here. You've got one there, and one down below as well. Again, extractor fan in the kitchen. Full Thetford oven and grill and your sink this side. Again, you've got a cupboard underneath there. We've got pull-out drawers here. Nice big pot drawers down below. All self-closing. They will close themselves, just like a, a modern kitchen have. Nice um, LED accent lights as well, which can be left on at night time if you want. And then on the front, up above the front lounge, we have a Another drop down bed. So again, I'll bring it down. It again is the same size as the back bed. It's four foot six at the head. Safety nets around it there as you can see. Um, and again, it's got a ladder up in there because it comes down to this height here, just to the top of the counter height. It doesn't come right the whole way down. Uh, but again, it's a, a good a good double bed. So you got twin double beds in the van, which is great, great feature. I'll say not many vans on the market would have that at all at the moment. So, a bit of a unique selling point. The other unique selling point of Benamars is that they are a composite construction. So, no longer do we have a lot of wood in the superstructure. Um, so, always a killy seal of motorhomes in the past and caravans getting damp on a van and it rotting out the van because it was made of timber. No, no timber in the superstructure of this van at all. If you look at some of the other unique features on it as well, Benamar have this thing where they, they want to put everything standard wherever they can. Um, down here, you'll see in the corner here, you've got a little switch, and that's actually a heated waste tank. So if you're into your winter sports and stuff like that, heated waste tank is a necessity. But even if you're out in cold, cold weather in the winter, um, that will stop your waste tank water from freezing, and you'll be able to empty your waste tank easily. Okay, thank you very much.